अंतरिक्ष यात्री श्री प्रशांत बी नायर जी और ग्रुप कैप्टन शुभांशु शुक्ला दोनों लोग ग्रुप कैप्टन हैं उनका स्वागत है इस आज के प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस और ये परिचय का फ्लो इस प्रकार होगा सबसे पहले इसरो के अध्यक्ष एक संक्षिप्त प्रेजेंटेशन करेंगे और ही विल अपडेट ऑन इसरो एक्टिविटीज फिर गगनयान मिशन के लिए नामित अंतरिक्ष यात्री ग्रुप कैप्टन प्रशांत बी नायर और ग्रुप कैप्टन शुक्ला अपने विचार साझा करेंगे फिर तत्पश्चात माननीय मंत्री जी आप सबको संबोधित करेंगे तत्पश्चात आपके प्रश्नों के उत्तर लिए जाएंगे एक एक करके आप अपने प्रश्न पूछ सकते हैं और उनके सबके उत्तर देंगे सो so, सबसे पहले आई इनवाइट इसरो अध्यक्ष डॉक्टर वी नारायणन जी टू मेक अ प्रेजेंटेशन स्पीक यस सर मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह जी मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट्स एंड माय डियर फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम इसरो एंड प्रेस वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू वी विल गिव द अपडेट ऑन द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ इसरो एक्टिविटीज and as you are aware the isro space activities were started in the year 1962 can you go to the first slide the first launch was accomplished on 21st november 1963 can you show the first slide 1963 from that till now we have accomplished 133 satellite missions 102 launch vehicle missions five technology demonstration missions and 4002 sounding rockets including 240 total number of missions the important point is last 10 years if you see the progress is phenomenal exponential with respect to missions the number of missions targeted in 2015 to 2025 is almost double compared to 2005 to 2015 during the last 6 months if you see very 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 important three important missions are accomplished please move the slide who is operating and axiom 4 mission is a very prestigious mission we have successfully accomplished and the first indian is sent to safely to international space station and brought back safely you are having the gaganya 3 with us subhashan sukla ji and gsl f16 rocket placing the most prestigious nasa isro synthetic aperture radar satellite on july 30th perfectly a satellite jointly realized by jpl nasa and isro yeah, the costliest satellite ever realized in the world is lifted off by indian launcher gslv and placed perfectly in the orbit and today the satellite health is totally perfect and we have uh, in fact uh, the unfurlable antenna is totally operational the first picture is coming and you are going to, we are going to share the picture maybe in couple of days another important thing in another 2 to 3 months we are going to have a 6500 kg communication satellite of usa going to be launched using our launch vehicle and till today 433 satellites of 34 countries are done from india after modi ji took over as the prime minister of this country the south asian satellite was conceived built launched and donated to the south asian countries and under his leadership we are also realizing the g20 satellite for the g20 countries and coming to the space sector reform which was announced in the year 2020 10 years back we had only one startup company in the space area in the country now today under the leadership of honorable prime minister and minister of state we are having 300 plus startup companies in the space area that shows the significant growth of the startup system and there are two suborbital missions done by private companies and a week back on august 8 a 30 ton solid motor is successfully tested for a private company vikram 1 motor and for jointly done by isro and the private sector and 2025 is a very important year till now we have done 196 accomplishments that means every working day more than one accomplishment is done the 100th launch was successfully done from sri hari kota 100th launch by gslv f15 nasa isro synthetic aperture radar that satellite launch 
and we have made a major breakthrough in a 200 ton logs kerosene engine. The tests are going very well. Lot of indigenization activities are progressing well. Coming to the Aditya L1, this year we have, we have released 13 terabit data. In fact, you have to see the videos taken by our satellite, the sun orbit, whatever is taken, fantastic achievement is done. And NSR satellite, I am happy to announce to this August audience, it is totally healthy and all systems are working well. And under the Prime Minister's leadership, we conducted a global space exploration. We conducted and there were 36 nations participated and 760 students participated in that program. Another important thing is our ministry is also Minister for Earth Sciences and when we are working on Gaganyan program, the Earth Science Department is responsible for the Samtriyan program for that a six kilometer, we have to take a vessel, 2.2 diameter diameter, and that vessel is a titanium vessel which is getting realized with our minister's direction and guideline under in Gisro. And an indigenous 10 ton propellant mixer is rolled out in the country. This is the highest capacity mixer ever realized in the country. And electric propulsion, 1,000 second trust we have successfully done. And one of the responsibility of ISRO is to ensure safety and security of every citizen of Bharat and go to the next slide, the Sintur uh, operation. Whatever is required from ISRO, we have done extremely well. The satellites have worked extremely well. In the space application, 50 years back, the space application started. Today, we are happy to announce that there are 50 plus application is serving the common man of this country, which in fact, 2,150 lives are saved during the last five years, and there is potential fishery zone monitoring, there is telemedicine, teleeducation, television broadcasting, and real-time connecting of potential fishery zone monitoring, there is telemedicine, teleeducation, television broadcasting, and real thing of something around 8,600 trains, 21,000 shipping vessels are connected, and in the area of disaster warning and mitigation, ISRO is doing outstanding job. And 13 out of 17 UN, UN uh, Sustainable Development Goals are being supported by ISRO. We have to thank the Honorable Prime Minister of India, who announced on August 15, 2018, the Gaganyan program. And he also, we picked up, we selected four Gaganyan trees, Subhas Nusukla, Prasand Balakshan Nair, who is with us, Ajit Krishnan, and Angad Pradap. Four people were selected, they were trained, and Honorable Prime Minister, announced them on 27th February 2024. Coming to the Kenyan program, you all will have a lot of questions. It is a very technologically intensive, complex mission. Lot of work is done in human rating of the vehicle, vehicle health management system development, orbital module development, crew escape system development, environmental control and safety system development, parachute development, human-centric product development. In fact, I am happy to say that almost 80% tests are completed and 20% tests are targeted before March 2026. And this year, we have done, in the recent past, last four months, lot of accomplishments are done in this area, and the first uncrewed mission, G1, is going to be lifted off this year end, maybe close to December. And in that, the Biomitra, a half humanoid, you can see the photograph, that is going to fly. And coming to ISRO's, and Axiom's International Space Station program. We have sent the second Indian to space and first Indian to International Space Station. The, our Gaganyatri Sukhalaji is with us. And thanks to Honorable Prime Minister, it was his vision. He only announced this program in June 2023. He strongly felt when it comes to Gaganyan program, this activity will really add a lot of value to that and this program was announced by him. And you can see, on June 25th, the launch was successfully done, and docking was done on June 26th, and Gaganyatri, Sukhalaji interacted with Honorable Prime Minister, with the school children, and the undocking was successfully done, and slashdown was successfully done, and they arrived back safely to India on August 17. And in this, the ISRO team had a crucial role to play. In fact, 
I want to say. Number one, this entire contract based on the direction and guideline from Honorable Prime Minister and our Minister, the ISRO team effectively did. And another important thing is, originally the mission was targeted on 11th June and 10th June we came to know there was a leakage in the Falcon rocket. It was ISRO team which insisted for complete correction. Based on ISRO team insistence, the complete correction was done by the US SpaceX team and we had accomplished successfully. But for that complete correction, it would have ended up with a catastrophic situation. And thereby, we have saved the life of four of the astronauts. And I am proud to say that Indian education system, under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister and ISRO training, has proved that we are second to none, even in stopping a faulty rocket and ensuring safety of the astronauts. And our Gaganyatri, Mr. Sukraji, has effectively carried out seven experiments. We are going to dwell a little later on that in human health, space biotechnology, space agriculture, and astronaut nutrition, space biology. And in fact, this is going to feed huge wealth of data for the Indian science. And Honorable Prime Minister interacted. That shows the enthusiasm and the moral improvement of Honorable Prime Minister. He interacted with Sukhlaji when he was in space. Of course, he also had the opportunity to interact with students and, of course, with ISRO team. I was leading the ISRO team. And coming back, the government of India gave a warm welcome. Honorable Prime Minister himself was there in the midnight, early morning, 2 o'clock, to receive Sukhlaji and Prasad Nair. And let me also thank Honorable CM of Delhi. Madam was there early morning. Please understand what type of enthusiasm this country under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister has happened. And we three were there to receive him and receive both of them. And then Sukraji also had an interaction, detailed interaction with Honorable Prime Minister of India. And we have got a lot of direction and guideline from that. And we are going to have a lot of outcome from this mission. The country is going to get a lot of benefit. They are the entire training, what they had, we are going to be benefited in the BAS, Bharat Administration Program, and Honorable Prime Minister has already directed us to work for taking man to moon by 2040. It is going to serve there. And immediately, by 2027, we are going to have the first Gaganyan crewed mission. This entire experience is going to yield very good result for that. Not only that, for the next generation, 30 to 40 years, the entire program conceived by Honorable Prime Minister is going to be utilized. And I would like to say in this, other than the Gaganyatris, you know, the entire program is a teamwork in its row. And 20,000 employees are involved in the activity. And they are represented by the directors. Uh, Mr. Rajarajan is there, director uh, from Vikram Sarabhai Space. Stand up and get up. Ah, Mr. Rajarajan, please get up. He is the director leading the mother center of the space program, the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Of course, Mohan could not reach now. Then we are having Mr. Chankaran, who has led the team for enabling the successful NISR mission. And we had Nilesh Desai, and he is the person who has realized the L-band synthetic aperture radar uh, payload. And we are having Bhatma Kumar, who has taken over as the director of Sri Kota. And we have got another important unsung hero. Mr. Ganesh Pillai, as the scientific secretary, he is hand in hand working. And in, of course, now we have got the new IHU director. He is in front of us. He is standing here, Fabio Narayanan. He is a veteran in mission management. Then DK Singh, he is the director of the Human Space Flight Program, who has ensured the successful mission. And then we are having Rajiv, who is our friend face in Delhi, I think our OSC. And then, yeah, Anil Kumar, Anil Kumar is there, I didn't see here, Anil Kumar is the ISTRAC director responsible for, and our JS, uh, Madam is there, Madam, please get up, uh, additional secretary could not participate. I want to tell you this, the entire ISRO program is a purely a team of 20,000 employees and 450 industrial partners and 300 academia partners today, along with us, we have got the Gaganyatris have joined hand in hand for our programs. And, dear friends, we have conducted, based on the direction and guidelines from Honorable Prime Minister, the Chintan Sivir 2025. It was conducted on June, July 16 and 2018. 
we have looked at there were 360 participants all isro top management people were there and we have done based on the vision given by honorable prime minister the implementation of space station 2047 and looking beyond 2047 up to 2062 we have looked at the major missions and brought all the implementation status up to 2047 for the Vixit Bharat 2047. And the report is going to be submitted on 23rd. And there are something around 11 domains we debated, discussed, and we have charted out our program. Another important thing, Honorable Prime Minister, when he took over as the Prime Minister of this country, 2015, we had a national meet. We brought all the stakeholders together. Today, after 10 years, to leverage the space technology and application for the Vixit War 2047, and we are having the second national meet. And in fact, 63 departments are using the space data. All state governments and UTs utilizing the space data. So we had something around close to 300 plus one is to one meeting. And in fact, Honorable Minister was reviewing every week and we are happy to release the report on 23rd August. And Pan-India celebration for National Space Day, our Honorable Prime Minister, we have to salute and thank. She declared August 23, 2023, 20, when we accomplished the Chandrayaan-3. And India is the only country till today successfully soft landed near the South Pole of Moon. And that day, Honorable Prime Minister, that point, she has declared as Shiva Sakti point, and that day, Every year it is going to be celebrated as the National Space Day and we have charted out a program uh, tomorrow and data day after tomorrow. At the end of this press meet, you will see the team video. Coming to the team, it is Arya Pata to Gaganyan, ancient wisdom to infinite possibilities. Dear friends, in summary, I want to say by 2040, Indian space program will be in par with any other space-faring nation in terms of application, in terms of launcher capability, in terms of human spaceflight program, and in terms of the satellite technology. Now